on YouTube and that is weird because that's never happened. I don't know what happened. It just said my stream. But when I, I came back and it said you guys were all there. So I don't know. I'll just uh, upload. This as part two, I guess. And I don't know if any of you guys are going to be able to find me again. So I am so sorry. Hopefully you guys see that I'm live. Or get some kind of a notification. <laughs> Hi, Lori. So nice to see you. I don't know why I got kicked off, but that was rude. <laughs> Anyways, I just came back in through another stream, so I'll try to finish this up. Hopefully, won't get booted again. That's really rare for that to happen on YouTube. It's weird because I kept getting these weird notifications from YouTube. Like, I didn't see what they were, and I don't think I broke any rules, so I'm not sure what happened. But they were coming in fast. You guys, I'm sure you guys heard the notifications going off, and then I was gone. So this is part two of the Hummingbird Live. <laughs> And, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back. <laughs> Lori, you've been kicked out of worse places. Hey. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back. Hi, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad you found me too. I was gonna cry. I did forget what I was going to do, though. <laughs> um, what was I going to do? Hmm, I can't recall. But I think it's going to be large crushed glass on the big feathers. So I'm going to keep doing them a few at a time so they don't run together too, too much. And then I'm going to do it all in one strip with my larger 8 centimeter foil. So if you guys are doing big projects like this, this is a humongous rock. It's like 8 inches tall. So, when you're doing big projects like this, you can um, use the bigger foil and it, um, you don't have to seam or cut or, you know what I mean? You can just do it all in one big strip. Or if you're doing a background with it, a whole rock. So, you don't want to cure, cure at all. Just hit it so that it doesn't run together. Boy. Yep, I'm going to go through a whole bottle of glue on this live. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming back. Sorry about the disconnect. Got no idea what happened. Very rare for YouTube. But I'm happy to see you back. I got to open another jar. Bottle of glue. Oh, that's the empty bottle. Hold on. This should go fast. Because, like, these wings are all one kind of foil.
Remember to come in from a distance and keep your tray away from the light. <laughs> See all the... It looks like I've put white pen on the feathers. See all the highlights? That's where I will put white pen on the feathers. That's the cool thing about foil is it really gives you your highlights. Like, you really wouldn't even need to, you know? But if you look at the picture, that's where they are drawn in. It's so funny. Okay, let me show you guys something. Between two bottles, same brand of glue. Okay? Look. Glossy clear bubbles. Cured. Cured. Same brand, but they, they're, you know, sometimes... <laughs> Some bottles are better than others. I don't know why it does that, but consistency is a problem in the industry. Industry, like it's a thing. <laughs> Rock foiling. The nail foil glue is not always consistent. And I think it has to do with shelf life. Like these bottles came out of the same box. So I know they're the same age. And one was open for a couple of days longer than the other one I just opened. So they should not have been so different. They shouldn't have cured so different. Like this down here is what I would call perfect nail foil glue. This up here, I'm not digging it so much. See how nice and glossy that is. I'm going to go ahead and do the back side too. I wouldn't be doing it like this if it wasn't clear, transparent foil because it would show too much, you know. But th this foil is really forgiving and really, really great for beginners. You can do big projects like this and not be scared. Okay, now I'm going to come in for the, just cure it all up and grab a big piece of crushed glass. I need to change my batteries. So this is 8 centimeter wide foil, so it's a larger area. Okay, I'm get in between each of these little 
feathers. I just want to make sure and get the edges, you know, the slope, the down slopes in between feathers. Make sure that foil's sticking in there. Pretty, 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 nice transfer. And it sticks to you because it's very staticky. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Anyways, my point earlier when I was talking about the quality of the glue, it's not bad glue when it has those little bubbles. It's not necessarily, maybe not the glue, but when you see the good glue next to the other glue, it makes you wonder. And my point is, you can't really control that. So learn to work around it. And if you see... Um, you know, you're going to have a lot of little tiny bubbles like that in your project. You might want to go with a different kind of foil so that it's not so visible. I change my mind about foil a lot based on the way the glue is acting that day. Because sometimes our glue acts different daily because of the humidity. <laughs> okay, same glue. Now it's bubbling. So weird, you guys. I don't know what's up. <laughs> Maybe the rock was warmer right there. I don't know. I mean, it's not bubbles. It's just those little tiny dots. Some resin does that, too. Then when you have those dots in, they're not, see how it's not transfer. I don't know if you can see that, but. See how it didn't transfer on those dotty areas? So you can just lay it right back down. And once you've lifted it, lay it right back down and it should push it right into the, the holes now, the puck marks. Lay it back down.
think I'm going to use Starburst on these three big feathers here. weird hmm. okay. I'm gonna do this one again because it wrinkled really bad it's a little thin layer Starting way far away. Thank you for getting the questions. Yay. Thank you. Sorry. I was trying not to wrinkle my glue. <laughs> Maybe it's because I have my fan on. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not bad, though. That's good. Starburst. See the starburst there? I'm going to lay this down right in the middle of the big one. And I'm going to lift it up. Well, I was going to lift it up slowly, but it popped off there. Anyways. out pretty good. And I can reset those lines in a minute. I'm going to finish this section right here.
going to go use the uh, small crushed glass there. these lines I have, yep, I've tried Intense Pencils. They're beautiful. I don't think they're affordable. And just, you know, for me personally. Um, so, I have lots of other things that are right up that alley that I like, too. I love them, don't get me wrong. But for what they do, I feel like they're too expensive. I'm doing big thick lines on purpose guys. <laughs> I like to give my finished foil projects nice thick lines to give them that like sticker look like it's a sticker. So this is where it all ties together and you can touch up your whatever you consider a boo-boo. So like all of this bleeding and stuff, I wouldn't call it a boo-boo. See, it's just not finished.
<laughs> the rock is so big it doesn't even want to fit in the frame. That's too funny. Yeah, it, this is a Posca 1MR, 0.7 millimeter. Sorry, I'm all being quiet. I'm uh, concentrating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it's good enough for that. So I will uh, do these with the pasta as well. Just grab the I think I would do them um, in color for for what I'm doing.
these do come in colors too so if you wanted to use you know your Posca colored markers or paint pens um, to give some details I'm, let's see. yeah, I'm not going to finish all of this because it's going to take forever. <laughs> but to seal this, I would use either a UV resin or a top coat. I use Gelixer. This is a mess, this bottle. Sorry, but this is Gelixer uh, No Wipe Top Coat. It's a UV top coat, and you basically flood it uh, just like you do with resin. Um, not so much that it's pouring over the sides, but, you know, flood the top and then kind of bring your hand around the sides, smooth it out, and then set that inside your, um, UV lamp, your, the one that covers your entire rock. Um, let me show you mine. So, like, you would set it inside here, inside your UV lamp, <laughs> for a couple of minutes. Top coat is cures really fast, so you don't need like 500 minutes. Hi, <laughs> you guys can see me in this thing. Hello, <laughs> it's terrible. Anyways, uh, yeah, give it a couple of minutes to cure with your light, and then voila, you have a finished rock. So that's how I will cure both of these. I will definitely post a picture uh, of these finished. I do thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching <laughs> and coming back and finding me again. That was a huge foil project, so there's the Hummers. They turned out pretty good, I think. Thanks, guys. Take good care. Happy Monday.